So this is simply a discussion. So how does resolution affect uncertainty? That is, how does the least count affect uncertainty? So we'll see some examples. So first, consider measurement with a micrometer. So suppose you take an object and you measure 10 times and you get 10 different readings like this. These are a digital micrometer readings with least count 0 0.001, one micron least count micrometers there. And these are the readings, suppose. Okay, so what will be the uncertainty? <clears throat> what will be the standard deviation you can calculate? Standard uncertainty due to repeated readings. So we have 10 readings. Average is this. Standard deviation is this. Standard uncertainty is 0 0.018686. Okay, S by root n. Any difficulty? Okay, you can follow. Okay, so now suppose. Suppose we had got the same readings by using a vernier caliper. So these are imaginary readings. 10 readings in millimeter were. So I just rounded off the previous readings to a single decimal place. 10 .5, 10 .5, 10 .5, 10 .5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 10.5, 
second the uncertainty of the least count also of the resolution also but this method overestimates the uncertainty since a part of the resolution effect is included in the readings also so because if the readings are different some variability in the resolution will be added in the readings also so that so slightly overestimates the uncertainty <clears throat> but of course we don't have any better method so there is this problem is discussed in this paper in metrology published in 2006 by Gunnar Taralson instrument resolution and measurement accuracy okay